Hey guys! Ciao! Okay, so today's video is going to be completely in English. Don't panic because this is a listening exercise, okay? It's not for you to understand every word. It's for you to test your listening skills. For those of you who don't know, I'm British and he's Italian. So obviously I have a British accent. He has an Italian accent when he speaks. So maybe you can understand him a little easier than me. But it's a perfect way for you to learn new vocabulary and to see how much you can understand. And to improve your listening skills as well. Exactly. And don't expect to understand every word. Because sometimes I don't understand it as well. Exactly. <laughs> like when he speaks in Italian, I don't understand every word, but we just go with it, you know? There are no subtitles in this video, and the reason there are no subtitles is because you will read instead of listen. And as we have both said several times, it is a listening exercise. So although it's okay to use subtitles sometimes uh, when you're watching a film, I think sometimes it's nice to have an exercise where you truly have to listen. In reality, there are no subtitles. When you go to an English speaking country, when you do business in English, there aren't subtitles to help you. So sometimes you really do have to listen. Okay, so I think we can start. So our topic for today, which was voted by the people of Instagram, is cultural differences. Okay, like I said, he's Italian, I'm English. So it's gonna be the differences between our cultures um, I also lived in Italy for a little while, so I, I understand quite well the cultural differences, like you, because you live here in England. So we're going to start with those. I'm going to ask Damiano some questions, and he's going to tell you um, his, his view, his side of things. Okay, we have our tea and we are ready. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready as well. Okay, so first I'd like to talk about social activities mm -hmm. and spending time with friends and family. So how is it different in Italy, or in Sicily, in fact? Well, in Sicily we normally spend a lot of time together with our friends, with our family. Here is a bit different, even though, for example, right now I'm a lodger here and you in a... He's living in my house, yeah, in my family. in Louis' house. And, for example, there is a difference that sometimes um, Louis' mum and dad it's on their own and we we lose on our own, mm. which is different because, for example, uh, at least in the south, I'm so, I'm from Sicily, so at least in the south, it's more common to eat everyone together, right? So this one uh, is the first tiny difference, but mm. but we do we yeah we do do this, but I'd say more at the weekend, and probably lots of families in England do this in the evening. But to be honest, I eat quite different food for my mum and dad. Um, so that's also one of the reasons why I don't always eat with them. But we have been eating some together sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we've been cooking for them and but vice for versa. For example, uh, at least in the South, it's more common having lunch, having dinner yeah. all together instead of, you know, in different times. Another difference is that here it's very hard to find the time to organize a party with all your friends. So sometimes even mm. though if you would like to go out just for a beer in the Sunday, a Saturday evening, it's not easy to find people available. No, because it, we plan a lot here in England. Like you're very spontaneous. Like you call, so I remember when I was in Italy, my friends were like, hey Louise, do you want to go out tonight? It'd be very instantaneous. Straight away, but here yeah. we plan, like, if I want to see my friends, I have to book them in, like, weeks, maybe months in advance. Because everyone seems to be busy all the time. I don't know. It's, it's just a state of mind. Because maybe, uh, yeah. then you will spend the evening at home chilling out as well. So but Yeah, people plan in time to relax here, I think, as well. Yeah, I think that in Italy, the only people that requires books to be visited is the Pope. But <laughs> Bookings. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay, good. Let's move on to the next topic. Okay, dress sense. So I mean like the the clothing, the style, even hair, makeup, that type of thing. So for me, when I lived in Italy, I noticed that generally the women and the girls are a lot more natural. So they don't really wear too much makeup, maybe some lipstick, but not, you know, they don't wear loads of makeup on their eyes. Um, things like fake 
eyelashes, fake hair, fake nails, fake tan. It's not so common, I'd say, in Italy, but here it's more common. Well, let's say that there are people who prefer, obviously, this kind of fake makeup, even in Italy, uh, mm. but here it's, it's very common, it's yeah. more common than in Italy. It's a bit weird because <laughs> here you can find people that are uh, a very random outfit mm. and to me it's like if they have taken the glue they have spread all the glue on their chest and then they have jumped into the wardrobe and all the stuff they got stuck on the chest well that one is the design outfit outfit of the day <laughs> well i think that in italy we uh, are a bit more conscious about our You're more we say put together, like you really think about your outfits and you coordinate maybe a bit more. We're here, like in England we do have this, not everyone, but lots of people have this sense of style, like you said, especially in London maybe, in certain parts of London where it's very colourful, like lots of patterns. Like I quite like this style, I'm quite bright, I like different colours. I know today I'm quite plain and normal, but sometimes I wear things that are quite bright, but you... Maybe don't do this as much. Like the retro look, can we say that? The retro look. Yeah. It's quite fashionable here. Yeah. People here tend to be... I think the big difference is when we go out on like a Saturday night, we really dress up. Like girls wear heels, dresses, very glamorous. Um, but in the day, they are more casual. Whereas in Italy, it's the opposite for me. In the day, you're a bit more dressed up. And in the evening, you're a little bit more casual. Mm, I yeah, wouldn't it's say true. that. But not like the girls here. You don't wear... Girls don't wear big heels. It's no, not... No, in the night, if you go night clubbing in yeah, the night... Yeah, sometimes. But not. it's not like here, in my opinion. I, I think there's a big difference with this. I don't know. Just... <laughs> but if there is a difference between talking about clothing, right? between Italy and the UK is that here is more common having the charity shops mm. and then you can buy uh, second-hand clothes it is very very clever because if you there is something that you don't like anymore instead mm. of throw it away throw it away and I don't know of recycle that jeans mm. or the t-shirt you can give you can donate stuff to mm -hmm. a charity shop and yeah. people can buy it. I never used to like them but now I do. I try and shop there as much as possible. Obviously there are sometimes, um, sometimes I find there's nothing there uh, but it's very very cheap so it, it, although it's second hand generally it's quite new clothing. Um, they wouldn't sell it if it wasn't quite... Yeah, if it, the quality exactly. of the status of the gloves is a bit damaged obviously they, they wouldn't sell it. No, so it's, it's you know it's fairly new clothing or shoes um, and it's so cheap compared to the shop prices yeah. so that's why I prefer it. Anyway to summarize yes I think the style is quite different. Yeah. I think we can agree on that one. <laughs> okay next one this is an interesting one and I have a very strong opinion about this and that's attitude towards learning languages. Mm. So I mean I, I can't really speak <clears throat> so much for you guys but I know in England we have a very bad attitude towards learning languages um, I remember when I was at school, I studied French for a little bit. I can't remember any French because I never actually used it outside of the school. Um, but I didn't want to really learn a language. I wasn't interested when I was younger. And that's a big regret. I regret not starting earlier and being more interested in languages. And I think people here in the UK, because we, we are English and we know everybody speaks our language pretty much, we're very lazy about it and people don't really try. Um, and I think it's a shame because I think learning languages opens new doors, allows you to experience new cultures, new people. So I hope in the future it changes. I don't know how it is at school now. I don't know if people take it more seriously now. But when I was at school, they... or we didn't, I can say. Uh, I don't know. How is it in, in Italy? Well, in Italy the situation is different because mm. it, Italian is not a widely spoken language in the world. But I feel like Italians are everywhere. Like, yeah. I literally see, I don't know if it's just because I'm aware of the language, but I hear you guys everywhere, well, all yeah, the time. Yeah. yeah, Italians, we are everywhere. You guys. are everywhere. But we start <laughs> since the very beginning, conquered the world with the ancient Roman Empire. But, That's why. Yeah, no, a tiny joke. But <laughs> yes, I would say that because of Italian, it's not a widely spoken language over the, um, across the world, the world, 
World. World. I'd say world. But world. World. <laughs> Italian is not a language widely spoken over the world. And because of this reason, obviously, we have to learn other languages. Mm. But that's like most countries, I'd say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If, a lot, if you're not English, an, uh, an English-speaking country, then it's the same, I imagine, for yeah. everyone else, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think so. But we in Italy have a problem with languages because we are a bit lazy <laughs> as well in learning languages. And we have a very good and... High, highly qualitative tradition of dubbers. This means that there is also the voiceover when you are watching a film, which is a film from the UK, a film from Hollywood, there is the voiceover and everything is dubbed in Italian. And this is one of the reasons why we don't have a lot of opportunities to be exposed to English languages. The first <laughs> step, the first step to start being immersed in a language, obviously, is the exposure to a language, mm -hmm. especially the spoken one. Mm -hmm. In Italy, you don't have all this opportunity to speak English or other languages. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if we don't consider cities that are full of tourists, obviously, you can't find people uh, to, to talk in a, to use in another language. Mm -hmm. And this is a shame because also in the school, I don't know nowadays, but when I was at school, especially the primary and then the high school and so on, the style of learning and teaching English was mostly based on studying grammar in the same way how we normally do for Italian because we love to study starting from presente, imperfetto. Mm. I, yeah, this is a big difference. This is a, a, this big, is a big difference, difference but it's also a big mistake because here in the UK they don't, they, they don't study grammar at school. But to be honest, let me just say, yeah, we don't study grammar, and lots of people have very bad grammar. But for us, it's strange to study grammar. So if you said to a British person, tell me about present perfect, they would have no idea what you're talking about. Like, even though he's he's not a teacher, I ask him questions sometimes, and you can explain well enough, you know, the grammar, right? Yeah, the Italian one. But yeah. I, I don't know if I fully agree, you know, I don't mean this in an in offensive way, but I don't know if I fully agree with just studying grammar because in my experience of teaching students they say ah oh, Louise I've studied grammar for years and years and years and I still can't speak it's because you've only studied grammar and you haven't spoken yeah like when when I was a teacher in Italy okay yes we looked at grammar it's an important factor but we also encouraged as much speaking as possible and for me I this makes me a little crazy of yeah. this kind of thing. But this about... is one of the uh, problem why Italian mm. people are not very flexible in learning new languages because we are used to learning Italian learning grammar and this is uh, something which is very important because you can deeply understand the language but at the same time this can be like a break a stop for your brain because you don't have the flexibility to go beyond the grammar and mm. staying immersed in the language and following the flow of the speaking and conversation. Mm. I remember myself when I was at school, we had just, let's say, two hours of English per week. Both hours were mostly focused on grammar and just 15 minutes of conversation. <laughs> How can you just think to be fluent in a language, especially speaking, Mm -hmm. if you don't practice enough the mm -hmm. language. Yeah, I think this is a problem for... I've, I've seen it. I've seen it firsthand. Like I said, when I lived in Italy, I can see it's a problem. So I don't... I mean, maybe now, like you said, it's changed. So hopefully they have I, more I have speaking no classes and things. But I yeah. hope so. But at least, guys, if I can give you just a little tip. This is my personal experience. Uh, when I uh, finished the university in Italy, the ba my bachelor degree, I was able to read, understand in English even academical text because obviously I had to write my final dissertation, my thesis and, uh, and a lot of articles that I used as a source were obviously in English because English is the academical language nowadays. If you want to do academical research you have to publish and to write and to read just in mm. English. So obviously I had a good knowledge about the grammar, I had a good knowledge about comprehension of the test and writing as well, even if I still making some mistakes even now. But 
I wasn't able to speak and I wasn't able to understand mm. and to have a conversation even based on very basic topics with any other people. Neither British nor Italian talking in English. You know, if an Italian is talking in English, we have a very similar... Um, we, we normally maintain our Italian pronunciation even when we are talking in English. And then I decided to move here in the UK because I was aware that the only way to start speaking in another language and to start thinking, which is the very important part of speaking, you have to start thinking in another language, was just staying immersed in a context where you have to, you must to speak in that language every day because practice and exposure are to me the two key drivers yeah, but they are necessary. It's true, you have to be immersed, but obviously lots of you will be thinking, well, I can't move to England or I can't move to America. So you just have to make possibilities. Like, you have to, f you can find people online. It's very easy to find people online and start speaking online. You don't have to move to a foreign country. Yeah. Obviously, if you want to experience the culture and things, obviously, yes. But to learn a language, you don't, it helps to move to the country. But to be honest, I'll tell you a little secret. When I lived in Italy, I spoke in English a lot for my work and I didn't really speak in Italian much. I've only improved my Italian since coming back to England, my own country, because I speak with him. So it doesn't really matter, in my opinion, if you're in the country or not, it can definitely help. But as long as you're forcing yourself to speak, you know, you have to push yourself outside your comfort zone because nobody likes making mistakes. Yeah. People are scared to speak, in my opinion, a lot of the time, and this is the problem, yeah. that you have to get over the fear. I get it, I was scared to speak as well. Now I'm making videos on YouTube in Italian. That's quite a big step for me, because I know my Italian's not perfect, I have to s improve a lot, um, I have lots to learn still, but you just have to get over it and, yeah. and do it. That's the biggest thing, the fear, I think. My tip is not just came here in the UK, the tip mm. is just push yourself, push yourself to speak, yeah. even though if you are shy, even though if you, uh, I don't know, are scared of the judgment of the people and to make mistakes, this doesn't matter, mm. doesn't matter, because you have to make mistakes. Okay guys, last question, and I've told him he has to <laughs> stay with the question, because he goes off the question a lot. Okay, what is the biggest cultural difference for you? To stay on the point and not come over and over. That's just the biggest challenge in general. No, I just so I, I I don't know because to be honest, I'm a very flexible person and I didn't have any problem of adaptation and staying in a context which is different from my usual one mm. with my family, with my friends. So yeah, but there must be something that was hard for you. The food. Well, the food or... is no because if you are. No, you can find lots of food here. You can find lots of Italian food. If you are a bit skilled in cooking, you can cook yourself on your own without any... No, you can cook yourself. This is... You can cook on oh your goodness. own. <laughs> you can cook on your own. And there is no any problem. You know, probably you can miss something uh, that obviously you can't find here. Something traditional of your hometown. Of... Uh, probably the... The challenging part is... The language. It's the language, obviously. Okay, guys, sorry, the camera cut out there because we've been speaking for such a long time, so we are going to stop now. Um, but if you've made it to this point, well done. That's great. And we will be back next week with another conversation in English, but based on a different topic. Thank you very much for watching. Guys, if you like this video, please thumbs up and share this video. And subscribe. Subscribe to the channel and <laughs> see you later. Bye. Bye.